सोनम जी सोनम जी सोनम जी ओके गाइस आई एम बैक एंड आई एम वेटिंग फॉर टमारा हाय हाय कश्फियर हाय केसरा हाय 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 ओके figure it out Samara Okay I'm going to try to figure out why I'm not being able to get Tam to come live on with me um one second guys I I can see so many of y'all. This is amazing. I have Sam, I'm waiting for you to join me. Hi, Hi. Oh my god, you look so I'm, cute. I'm so sorry. That took so long to figure out. <laughs> yeah, you were you you have a Hi, you look so cute. Thank you, darling. As How usual, are you? You look amazing. Uh, I am good. Yes. Yeah, you guys okay? You're in Delhi, aren't you? We are in Delhi. You look yeah. so cute. You look oh. so cute. Thank you. You, you look cute in quarantine I as well. One of these. <laughs> I know. I'm excited to. I'm excited to get that. I'm so excited to get this. Did you send me the blue one or the pink one? I sent you the pink one. I oh, you, I yeah, it's really cute. I sent you a few other things as well that I thought you might like as well. Oh, amazing! So, Love the slides and the stuff that you told me that you liked when we were in yes, London. Yes, thank you. That's okay, honey. We That's have fun. like already eighteen thousand people who've joined us. I know it's amazing. I tried to connect so many times and it wasn't working for some reason. But anyway, no, no, it's fine. Now, now yeah. I have you because I I sent you the request. You know, now. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so How that's is fine. everything in India, honey? It's good. Um, it's pretty hot now. It's yeah, like almost thirty-eight degrees Celsius. Yeah. Wow, it's wow. pretty hot. Pretty hot. You're in France, no? Yeah, in France, it's awful weather today, but it was really beautiful this whole time. So today it's like raining and winding, but you know the whole time it's been beautiful and sunny and everything. So yeah, it's been it's been nice to be. You have here. a nice tan. That no, I haven't been outside at all. I've been working a lot actually. No, oh, I've been I working. That. Yeah, working. How is it working day. remotely, Tam? Yeah, no, it's 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 okay. It's very difficult because obviously we had to make sure everything, rethink how we do things and yeah. things like that. So it's been a lot of work. So I'm trying to be really creative and working out every morning, creating during the day. So yeah, yeah. Why why is it that you're in quarantine and you look fabulous? It's not fair. <laughs> you too as well. Oh my God! Look at my hair and look at your hair. Your hair is like no, dark. This, this is me trying to do it myself, actually. So you know, it's looking nice. Thank you, thank you, Ben. Thank you so You're much. You're amazing. And, and I see you've been cooking. Yeah, because that's all. That, I need a creative outlet. Yeah, yeah. you you look really good at it. It looks great. I know, I I know. I've been doing a good job. I've been yeah. baking like all this healthy stuff. So I'm gonna like when I come back home to London, I'm gonna bake all this stuff for you, which is healthy. Nice, nice. But I mean, it has calories, but it's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I've been baking like I've gone like crazy. I've had like I've been cooking as well. So I made like a full Italian meal one day. I made a full Asian meal one day. I made wow. a full Mexican meal. You'd I'd be very cook. proud of me. I made Indian one night and I cooked rotis. How do you do that? Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, obviously it was difficult, and I had instructions, so I was following that. But no, I was very proud of myself. So I cooked. Okay. Um, I cooked dal. I cooked uh, butter chicken. I cooked rotis. I cooked a bit, um, all different things. It was so nice. Yeah. Oh my god! And then we had a we had an Asian night um, where I tried to make dumplings, which turned out horrendous. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's fine. Is it just the two of you guys though? Yeah, it's just us and the dogs, which is nice. So it's you know. I didn't know you guys had matching dogs. That's cute. Yeah, it's really. You didn't strange. tell me that. Yeah. Yeah, you've seen the puppies, no? You, yeah. Well, you met Beluga. You met one of them when Beluga's I. Beluga is so cute. Yeah. yeah it's so yeah, cute. Yeah. I know. Become, really is, has he become bigger? Um, yeah, they've gotten really big, actually. So there's two girls that are 10 months old and they're okay. sisters. And then there's an older boy who's almost two. And so, and he's very protective over the little girls. So it's really sweet, actually. So, so cute. Really are they feeling sweet. hot in the heat? Are they feeling hot now? Um, well, chow chows are quite, their fur is very dense. So in the summer, you kind of have to cut them sure, short. Sure, so, sure. Yeah, to, to make sure that they don't get too hot. So we'll do that in probably you know, a couple of weeks or so, because it's it's on the verge of getting hot now, but it's not, it's still chilly at night. Are you missing London? I am, I am, I am missing yeah. London. You know, I think, I must say, the French president is being very strict about the lockdown, which is amazing to see. You yeah. Know? And they, everyone's taking it very seriously in France. And um, how how is your family in Australia? Yeah, they're good, they're good, you know. It's they're... not as bad in Australia though, right? No, it's not. You know, they're down to, um, in some places, not even a case a day, which is great. I mean, they've had 70 deaths, which is um, sad. But obviously, in comparison to the rest of the world, it's it's actually been pretty quite good. good. I think they locked down quite early on, which helped. And yeah. I think also being slightly remote and um, from the rest of the world also kind of helped a bit. So, okay. yeah, yeah. So they, they're kind of flattened the curve a little bit and it's starting to come down which is good to see okay, so yeah cool. yeah yeah cool. And what about India? well um we've had apparently um this is what everybody's saying is the strictest lockdown in the world that's happened even though yeah. we've not had that many cases in India and uh, we've had uh, we I think we're around 400 and something in terms of deaths which is bad but in comparison to like like billions of, like we have yeah. almost 1.4 billion people 6 billion people in our country yeah that's not so bad but it's like any death is sad and bad but there are like around um the cases aren't that high we aren't mm -hmm. hearing as much but they've been very strict I, I think I've, I've been very impressed with how strict it is being in india to be honest yeah. i think yeah. that's a, that's only a good thing you know. I know it's a good thing, and but the thing is, obviously, businesses are suffering. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, you and I are both, at least my Anand and you are both in retail. So, yeah. so am I. how is Anand? He's good. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> he's working very hard. Yeah. Um, he like he was like you know he's like looking at everybody on social and they're like watching Netflix and they're doing this and he's they're doing that and poor thing has so much work from morning to night yeah. and he's like. I'm at home and I'm working and I don't yeah. get any downtime at all. And I was like, I think it's a good thing, you know. I was like, but I'm the of... same. It's almost like you have more work now than before because you've had to things take longer over the phone and things. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah. yeah, but it's really interesting because it's like things through this you've realized that you can actually work from home. And yeah. there's you know, there's a lot of things that we're looking at changing now, which is great, you know, through this, yeah. you know, there will be a lot of positives that come out of this. And it's just finding, finding what those are, you know what I mean? So, I was so sad. I was like, I'm not wearing any Ralph and Russo when I'm speaking with you. So I just decided to wear a black t-shirt. I was like, I need to just be neutral because, yeah. I have to, like, I, because I couldn't get, like, a lot of my stuff is in Bombay and a lot of my stuff is in London and I don't yeah. have that much stuff here. And then... Obviously, I was like, I'm, I just, I really, and I've seen like these tracksuits all over your social media, and I was so sad. I don't, I'm oh. always the first person to wear your stuff, <laughs> Sam. It's I so know. Rough. You are, you were, you were the first oh. person. You were our first Indian celebrity, do you remember? Back yeah. in 2000, and what was it, 15? 2015. No, it was six years ago. 2015. Yeah. yeah. yeah 2014. I remember it was our first ever couture collection that you wore. Right. I know. And it was so nice. And I remember I saw that photo of you and I was like, oh my God, she's divine. I have to meet her. <laughs> yeah. And then now, what about this? What about our first trip together? And 
It yeah, was amazing. That it's, was so much fun. That trip. I know, and yeah. it's nice. I, it's it's amazing to be friends with someone who's so creative and amazing, and who makes me pretty clothes. Ah, oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. Um, you know, I was thinking it's so surreal that we were having dinner together at your house. Yeah, like three days after we all left for the lockdown, yeah. and, we were, and after that night, it all unraveled so fast, you know, because we were talking. No, we should stay in London, and we're going to do this, and you know, yeah. it all unraveled so fast. It's and then, weird, you know, right? Two days, two yeah. days, because you you had to go, you had to come to France. Yeah, well, they were closing the borders, so I came here because yeah. I thought it would be nice to be together and be with the puppies and things like that. So. Yeah. And yeah, so but I'm glad you got to India as well. Yeah, I'm I'm happy I'm here. Also, you know, Tam, I was like thinking about like if you don't have, I was I feel bad for a lot of my single friends. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, um, who are by themselves, like in their space and stuff like that. You and I are lucky that we have someone to be with and like yeah. to spend time with, and we have our families that we can speak with, and you know. You know, a lot of our lot of our friends are by themselves, and you know, I think we should. You and I should like basically call them and be like, "Are you okay?" We need we need to have FaceTime with them every day. Make sure their spirits are up, you know, and positive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know it's it's so important to yeah. that. And I was also like, my sister's been posting all these throwback pictures of yeah. of me and like in your clothes. I know, I saw that. There's some really was, great like, ones. I know. Uh, I feel like I'm dying to dress up so badly. I know. I know. So, hey, but she's in she's in Mumbai with her parents. She's right? in Mumbai. Yeah. Okay. And uh, she's in Mumbai, and um, she's with my mom and dad, and Karan's there. Okay. Good. Okay. So they're so, together. They're together. I mean, no, Karan's in his apartment, and okay. she's okay. with my parents. Okay. And um, they they were they were anyways being a little stricter. In, in Bombay, you can't meet that much, so she hasn't seen Karan for a bit, actually. Oh wow! Um, yeah, so I think uh, I think they're hoping that by twentieth or something, maybe he'll come and stay over or something like that. But I don't think it's okay. I don't think it's like legal right now for him to do yeah. that. Yeah. And the um, lockdown is until the third. Isn't it? It's it's until the third. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna extend it? Well, I think it depends on city by city. Um, yeah. I because yeah. there are lots of uh, places in India which are pretty rural, and there's there hasn't been that many cases there. Mm. But I think yeah. like Delhi and Mumbai are pretty badly hit, and I think some cities in the south as well. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so and they, I, the governments done a pretty good job, you know, the Maharashtra government, the Delhi government, the Indian government. They've mm. all done yeah. a really, really, really good job of it. Yeah, I think I think they have as well. I think they've done a really great job. Your country is so big, your population is huge. It's important that yeah. They so, Tam, uh, let's yeah. let's um let's answer some of the questions that okay. like, some of the, I mean they're all sending just love and like <laughs> things and like highs and like a lot of things is. Hi Sonam. Hi everyone. But like, I just, I just want to know like certain things. So, there, is there something that you want to discuss, like in terms of what you guys are going to be doing next with Ralph and Russo, and what is it, what is it that you guys are going to be figuring? Like, I see your tracksuits, which I know I've seen them before this lockdown happened because I saw yeah. that you sent me the whole, you showed me the whole ready to wear stuff. So. I want everybody to know that this was always in the pipeline. And <laughs> those little home slippers and stuff like that, which I love yeah. so much. Yeah. Um, and the home slippers are like, really nice. I, I yeah, the slippers are so nice. Are you wearing them? Yeah, of course. Sure, everybody needs to. Oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> I want them so badly. Come yeah, here. they're really <laughs> sweet and they're very comfortable. So I love them. I'm, I definitely, I sent you some, but you just. No, the career is a, 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 a mess, but I can't yeah. wait to, I can't wait to, ha I can't wait to have them. So I was, I was saying that, what do you think, like, do you, I mean, obviously everybody loves your couture, like they love it so, so very much. Thank and um, I was saying that, you know, you're ready to wear is something that I am really looking forward to wearing a lot. I know it's been around for a couple of seasons and I've worn a couple of your pieces already. 
yeah. but I feel like um, the kind of you know I know how precise and how uh, particular you are with everything that you do and you're so creative like I remember you know Shaila's father has been making couture you know embroidery and stuff for so long and he said the only person who's left in the fashion industry who knows real couture is you Oh, he actually true. said that and I mean he's been around for like 40 years so he yeah, obviously knows yeah. what he's, he's talking about. He's a very about. nice man. Yeah so I mean so I feel like getting that aesthetic and getting that attention to detail to ready to wear is something that is I was really excited about and I love your latest collection. Um, what do you think is what do you think are going to be the trends that you're going to see in like May, June, when all this is over? Well, I think that a lot of um, things will come about from this. I think that you know, it's going to change how people buy and what they buy and what's important to people. You know, from a, from a, a business point of view, sustainability is going to be much more important than even it was before. You know, yeah. People have seen the positive effects of this has had on the environment and so I think that's made a lot more people a lot more aware than previously about how important you know the environment um, is and how we treat it. Um I'm also like I'm also I mean I know that you've always been a little like I know how um how compassionate you are as a human being and I know that applies to your brand as well. That's why we're friends because I admire <laughs> you as a human being. I think you're one of the best people I know. Oh, okay. Probably one of my best girlfriends around, oh, and, I, okay. and I love you so much. So I'm just thinking, how do you, how do you like? I know that you always have followed good business practices, in terms of the way you make things and how compassionate you are with your team and with the, you know, you're just like you're just very careful about everything that you do. Um, what do you think that you can do more in terms of what you're doing and the changes that you'll make in in terms of the way you make your clothes? Do you think you need? You, there, is there room for improvement, or you think you've done your? I know that, like, I know that the way you make clothes is already compassionate and is already. That's why I'm proud to wear your clothes because I know it comes from a place of good intention and creativity. Yeah, but yeah. do you think you will be doing more after this? Like, I know that there are certain changes that I'm making in my brands as well. Yeah. What do you, yeah. what do you yeah. think you're going to do? I think there's definitely room to do more. Always room to do more, and I think you know we've always been a very sustainable brand. You know, the values of the house have always been very important. I think that that's more of a need to do that to further and do more. So I'm trying to look at every area that can be improved. You know, and yeah. and it, it's not just about how the products are made; it's how business is done as well. And we, we don't need to be traveling like we used to. You know, all of the missions and things like that, we can very easily have meetings over the phone and things. You know, all of that is going to completely change, I think. What changes are you making in your brand? Um, well, um, I, I think we were already sustainable, but we're going to sh have more transparency in terms of, our, you know, the where we get a pro like where we get everything from, how we're making it, recycling. Okay understanding not making overproducing mm. you know not too much stock you yeah. know etc hey anand you want to say hi to tam come say hi to mara <laughs> hi hon how are you miss you <laughs> how's it going everything's good thanks so much yeah. Our Tam also has not time, no time to watch anything. <laughs> no, completely. <laughs> I've been working like a normal eight, ten hours a day. I yeah. know. That's exactly yeah. what he's been doing. He's been waking up at 6 a.m. Really? Every, yeah, every day. Every day. Wow. And then he's working like eight, nine hours. Like, yeah. Every yeah. day. Yeah. So why so early? He's always got up that early? You know that. He's always, he's like an early riser. Yeah. I also yeah. wake up pretty early, but he wakes up earlier than I do, 5.36 in the morning. And then, yeah. yeah. I've been he trying to wake up early and work out. You know, yeah, exactly. It's important to keep exercising. You, you lost weight. Huh? You look amazing. You lost weight. You look so oh, really? good. Really? No, I feel like I'm too long weight. No. <laughs> I mean, we're having this conversation live tomorrow. <laughs> we're having this conversation live. 
I feel like I have. That's why I'm trying to work out every day because you know it's easy to when you're not moving as much. Yeah. You know? And when you're you're constantly you're cooking yourself and all of these kind of and things. And you're trying everything. Tasting it. I know oh, exactly. Oh. I know, and I really enjoy it actually. So we're having yeah. um, pizza night, um, and we're gonna make pizzas. Okay. And, um, I made a cake for my girlfriend's birthday. And yeah, yeah, for, for, yeah, it was really nice. I made it in um, uh, tie dye ice cream to match the tracksuit. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I are, are, you, are you really that good a cook? Are you good at everything? It's so annoying. Are you no, really <laughs> no, honey, I'm really not a good cook. I, I have to have a lot of instruction. But you you look good. I'm very impressed. I'm looking forward to uh, like trying your cookies when I'm I know, I know, but I can only do like the vegetarian stuff. I haven't learned how to do like other stuff yet, but I'm going to I'm by the time I come back to London, I'll be able to do like everything, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. That's good. We can have a big dinner party when we see each other next and you can Yeah. That I can that make is... the rotis. You make <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, okay, fine. You can make the rotis for me yeah. and stuff like that. No, so Tam, tell me. So obviously, you're, um, and in terms of like, you know, you guys were expanding. At least I, I know that Michael was expanding pretty aggressively in terms of like Ralph and Russo and stuff like that. Is that something that you guys are going to keep doing, or what? What do you think is going to happen? Like, I haven't, ha I haven't spoken to Michael in a bit. You know, I'm, I'm more in touch with you. So, is that something that you guys are doing, or what is going to happen with that? Yeah, no, definitely. We have, we're looking at actually a store in India at the moment. Um, you, can. you know, we have obviously um, a really big clientele in India, and we love yeah. it there. And so that's actually a place where we're looking at opening a retail store at the moment. So yeah. we're probably going to look at doing that towards next year, um, sometime next year. Um, but I think in terms of expansion, you know, it's – it's we have our core um, products which we're we're building on. So the ready to wear, which is doing really well, kind of that um, that product category is growing a lot, um, and it's really great. We're introducing a lot of leisure wear, a lot more um, different um, categories. Yeah, and what about accessories? And accessories are doing really well as well. Yeah, so we're we're expanding the shop with you know into day day bags and kind of expanding the the handbag collection and expanding um, the shoe collection. So you know there's a lot of work going on in the product categories as well. And then our retail expansion, you know, we're really uh, uh, concentrating on key cities and building um, our online as well. So online we currently have, but you know this is something that is such a growth area for us at the moment. So to have our key retail locations is important which we're currently working on and then to, to build the online. But, you know, it's there's a lot of product categories that we're looking at at the moment. Some are, um, you know, really interesting, like sunglasses, perfume, cosmetics. You know, I've always loved all of that kind of yeah. category, which I'm really looking forward to doing. And then homewares and interiors and furniture is something else that I'm You know, your interior, like your homeware is going to be amazing. Yeah, thank you. It's going to be so beautiful and luxe and amazing. Yeah. Excited thank about you. that. Yeah, no, I'm really excited. And I think, you know, we've started to work on a little bit of it. When we're going to, we're not sure when we're launching it officially, but I'm working on it in the background behind everything else. But, you know, could you ready to wear leather goods and shoes is our kind of core focus right now. So they're all doing really well. So it's kind of. I'm so, I'm so happy, you know. I feel like Anand and I were discussing and we were like, there are very, there are some brands, unfortunately, who are not going to survive this pandemic it's, it's yeah. really sad and mm. I, I feel like a lot of people are going to change like their business practices yeah this and Anand always says that you know where business is concerned you need to act quick and you need to be yeah. you need to be there before the curve I know this um the curve yeah. is from like such a big deal right now yeah um, but it's true yeah. You know, and I mean, the idea of sustainability, good business practices and stuff like that is something that Ralph and Lusa were already doing. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, couture is something that I think is sustainable uh, yeah. already. Um, the most sustainable product category, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's, it's, it is it is the most sustainable product category. And I think yeah. um, 
you know and the way you make your clothes and stuff like that and i and i think it like you know there is a price point to it for sure and i think that makes and that is only because you know there's one of a kind piece and i think it's so special like i felt so i always feel so special wearing your clothes yeah, yeah. and um Thank and you. i feel good and i and i feel like it's guilt free you know because i know yeah. it comes from a good place and yeah. i think that's what's important it's um, very important you know. it's really really important you know you need to feel beautiful and you need to not feel guilty when you're wearing something yeah. um especially in this day and age and and i feel people who practice good business are the ones who are going to kind of sail through this and yeah. i know that you guys are going to be that thank you i mean this is very important at the moment you know, the values you have as a brand you really yeah. are. i mean people are looking to corporations and brands you know and how they're responding through this crisis and you know it's really it's really important just you know in terms of how you're saying a bit in good business practices and having you know a very in product with integrity is always something that we've you know being very yeah. proud of and held true to the house you know and something that we only want to build on you know and through this you know it's made a lot of other things apparent that you know we can be doing better can be fixing can be improving on changing the way we've done things you know so that also highlights and i think that's so much positive that's going to come out of this is you know it's going to change a lot it's going to change a lot yeah how's um i mean obviously i'm friends with you and michael now and like i know a lot of people have been asking me oh you know tam and michael um are they together are they not together and i was like no they aren't together but they're amazing friends still and yeah. they want to be together and i was like it's so important in this day and age to have that maturity and understanding and that it's okay to run a business together and be friends and not it, it doesn't change things like that and i think no. it's i and i want you to tell that to people tam Yeah. No, I mean we we are very close friends. But, yeah, know, we're amazing at doing business together, amazing business partners. You know, we have, you know, a respect for each other that's very important and I think that to have that between the CEO and the creative director is very important to have that. Yes. Yeah. And you know, although we're not together as a couple anymore, you know, we don't feel that anything is different. You know, we are I don't think I don't I don't I don't find it different at all. Which yeah. I've told you before. Yeah. as well yeah. and i feel like in a way it's it's you know i'm i'm so happy that you know you guys have a such a easy relationship despite what everybody wants to be presumptuous about and i think yeah. that's important yeah. that you know the brand and the house is beyond all of that and yeah all of that and you know you look amazing right now so obviously you know having that the that kind of attention to detail and brand values and stuff is way more important than everything else that you know all the other stuff and i want people to talk about ralph and russo as a brand as opposed to all the other stuff yeah you yeah. know so yeah, yeah. we all want in i i want to meet your boyfriend <laughs> you will when all this is over let alin i am i was supposed to Sorry honey. I, I know. Sweet. So you sad. Were, I know you were meant to but you can come and visit us here after hopefully. I was supposed to come with you. Yeah. But I told my mom. I know. I know you should have come but anyway, I'm glad you're there with your family and his family. So that's yeah, the most important thing to be together. I know. We had we had to we had to come back because Anand's grandmom's much older. Yeah, yeah. It's important you're there It's together. Important. Yeah, yeah, and also Anand's parents are slightly older. Yeah. And uh Anand's brothers younger. So there wasn't anybody who was like you know yeah, like in course. between and I think it was important for us to be there and to kind of you know make sure everything's okay and also we wanted to come back to India. Yeah. Um, you know, and we I came back I think it's important you guys are together. You know, it's really something I wish I could be with my parents right now. Yeah. You know, but they're in Australia and it's so far away and you know, they're they're doing well, but you know, it's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah. So you you're very lucky that you guys are all together. I know. Right. I yeah. know. We I know I'm I'm so lucky. I mean, I miss my parents as well. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. my mom who likes all your posts. Yeah. <laughs> She's oh so sweet. Oh my gosh. Every <laughs> single thing I post, she likes. She comments. Yeah. She's adorable. I love her. Yeah, she's, she's like, like, all, like I posted this picture of all of you guys, like all my friends. Oh, the know, one like, from your wedding? Be- yes, wedding. Yeah. I love that one. I love that picture. And yeah. anyway, so my mom, and so all those people in the picture, my mom likes every picture. Picture that they put. <laughs> <laughs> I find it hilarious. Oh, and I'm like, no. She's, she's adorable. Like, she is the best. So yeah. she anyway, so that that was um that was something that I was I miss her. I miss my mom a lot. Like I yeah. sent her a message yeah. saying yesterday, like I miss you so much. Aww. And she's like, I'm just happy you're safe and I'm happy you're at home with your in laws and with Anand and But and I'm glad you're glad you're glad you're glad 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 I'm dying to do my eyebrows, Tam. I'm dying to do my nails. No, my nails. My nails are dying. They're okay. They're not bad. Tam, come on. It's so bad. I'm like, I cannot even explain to you. I'm dying to do, like, my, like, I can't even explain to you. I feel like such a, like, I'm enjoying this because I, this is the first time I haven't done my hair. In, no, you know, you're amazing. Amazing. You always <laughs> this is my natural hair by the way. Yeah, but it looks gorgeous. Every Saturday I've been doing like a spa day and I make my own morning face mask and I do my hair. Sorry? What do you put in your face mask? Um, different things. There's like an oatmeal, um, and honey that I make, and then there's a salt scrub, popcorn salt scrub for the body. And all different stuff. I'm making my hair. Yeah, they're all natural, and then I spend about three hours on Saturday just so I can bring myself out in the bath. The new Martha Stewart. Sorry? You're the new Martha Stewart. (laughs) 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 Making homemade food and cakes and face masks and stuff. I know, but also it's really nice because I've had a lot of time to sketch, which has been really nice. Did you design anything for me? Of course, always, honey. Of course. What, what you, I'm dying to. I'm no, I, it's a surprise. I can't tell you. You, you. Okay. I'll, I'll send you the sketches when they're ready. Yeah. Okay, fine. But what do you really, think? It's really nice because you know I don't get that much time to sketch um, mm-hmm. as much as I'd like. But here I've just spent a lot of time sketching and painting and everything, which is really nice because, you know, I I miss painting. You know. Um, yeah. And so that's been really nice to get to be creative a lot so I remember the sketches you used to send me uh, whenever we had like a big red carpet and mm-hmm. like Ria and you used to discuss it and there would be like and then I would discuss it with you and then there would be like eight or ten sketches that would arrive and I'd have <laughs> such a hard time choosing <laughs> like what we were supposed to wear and it's so magical to have that you know? thank you what's your favorite piece though which one was your favorite ever mm. There's oh, been so think. many. What is yours? I I I don't. I think. The you know, I really glass. loved. I really loved you in Cannes Film Festival and that year where we did, did the white. everything. Yes, well, well, we did everything. Yes, the, <laughs> the white column gown with the half cape and the yeah, slipper. that's my favorite too. That's my favorite too. Oh that's my god, you looked divine, really that divine. Was, I, yeah, and then my I, my other. I don't know. I loved when you walked for us in our couture show as the bride. That was amazing. Okay. Yeah. That was amazing. I could barely walk. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, I remember us laughing so much when you came over to the Atelier in Paris for the fitting and you saw yeah. the dress and you felt how heavy it was and you put it on and you were like, what have you done? <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, Tam said, but you can wear this. This is fine. I was like, oh my God. And then every time I see anybody else, like being the Ralph Luso bride, I was like, her gown is definitely not as heavy as what mine was. I was like, Tamara's, you gave me the heaviest gown. Yeah, but when you walked out... Uh, at the end of the show, you would never have guessed that it was heavy. You looked divine and you walked oh. like perfectly. You were, it was incredible. I, and I was crying backstage, I remember. Oh. Because not only do you mean so much to me, but also it's like the, the, the finale of our couture show and how you, 
how you walked out and how you held yourself and i was i was i loved it you know so. i'm dying to like see one of your god when do you think will be the next like a lot of people are saying about these fashion shows and stuff but damn your fashion shows are magical never ever oh, stop your shows no i won't be but you know this season i think it's the right thing to not go ahead with the show um yeah. which all brands are doing so that yeah. you know which is a, the right thing to do but you yeah. know hopefully the fashion schedule will come back um eventually and you know i think it'll be different still i think it'll be brands will want to show their collections in different ways after yeah. this you know yeah. it'll change things but definitely you know it's the nicest way for you to present what you want creatively i mean but. it's by birthday in june So. I know. What are you going to make most probably do still be in India? I don't know. I mean, I, I, we ha- we should come back because my apartment is just like lying there in London. And you know, so I I'm like a bit worried because it's just there and there's nobody there, but I just I want to come back like I want to come yeah. back to London. Well, we I mean, I guess so is London. Huh? We can celebrate your birthday in London. I know, I know. That's what, but the thing is, like, let's see, let's see what happens. I think they're saying that uh, the, you know, we won't be able to travel to like June and June, yeah. mid June. So as soon as it opens up, we'll we'll be coming back to London. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. But I mean, um, some to- some countries, I feel like it's probably going to keep the borders closed till the end of summer. You think so? Yeah, I've heard. I've heard. I mean, some are thinking about it, which, which is why I've heard rumors that this is something that might happen, or at least you know, if things open up, then borders will remain closed for a little bit longer. Okay. So, you know, it's difficult to say. It's really difficult to say, but you know, I hope that it all, um, it all settles It'll down look. sooner rather than later. Yeah. Yeah, it will. It will, and then we can celebrate. And yeah, I can wear yeah. one of your beautiful dresses. Yes, yes. I have this amazing, beautiful dress that you made for me, which was uh, for registration, my yes. registration. And yeah, I don't think yeah. anybody's seen me wear it. I'm going to wear that again. Oh, that's beautiful. I haven't seen it on you. Yeah, I know because I, I, I didn't take any because I went, and you're not allowed yeah. to take pictures there. But I'm going to, I'm going to wear it and. Um, take pictures in it soon it's such a okay. pretty dress yeah i love that piece it's so chic it's so it's chic like it's beautiful and very retro i mean i hope i i feel like i've gained weight since then i haven't tried it on since then so i'm going to try it no you haven't Tam, come have on. you been Am speed I- walking yeah. around the house at least <laughs> Like how I speed on. <laughs> okay, this is one thing, guys. Like every time I'm like walking, I'm calling up Tamara and talking to her. Yes, and she can't. She's breathing down the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I have been speed walking. I'm doing ten thousand steps a day. Good, good. Important to keep that up. I'd love to I see a video of you to. speed walking around your house. Yeah, speed video. <laughs> Okay, so I'll say hi, hi to you know doggies and I your will, boyfriend, honey, I and I love you so much. I love you too. It was so nice to see you. You look beautiful as always. Send my love to everybody. God, it looked like a mess. Everybody's telling.